assalamu alaikum uh, students uh, we have studied about hyperthyroidism now our next and the last topic of the chapter is the hypothyroidism as the name indicates that uh, decreased secretion of the thyroid hormones hyperthyroidism refers to the decreased secretion of the thyroid hormones and as you can see there are various causes the first cause is the thyroiditis uh, this is the autoimmunity against the thyroid gland and it is also called a hashimoto disease and this immunity that destroys the thyroid gland rather than stimulate it so there will be the deterioration of the thyroid gland and the fibrosis resulting in the decreased secretion of thyroid hormone then uh, another cause it may be the surgical removal of the thyroid gland or it may be due to the iodine deficiency it may be congenital that this that is called cretinism if there is congenital deficiency of the thyroid hormone in this condition is called cretinism or there may be decreased th uh, trh or tsh uh, trh is if you remember it was released from the hypothalamus and tsh from the anterior pituitary so it means that if any uh, pathology in the hypothalamus or the anterior pituitary it may also lead to decreased secretion of thyroid hormones resulting in hypothyroidism so here are the few symptoms of the hypothyroidism that we have depressed growth of hair hair loss or patient it feels very cold they will cold intolerance as we know that thyroid hormones it basically its effect is to increase the basal metabolic rate so when decreased thyroid hormones so basal metabolic rate is decreased decreased bmr there will be the lack of energy in a patient he or she will be fatigue and um, uh as if you remember that uh, uh thyroid hormone it increases the gi motility so when decreased thyroid hormone decreased gi motility it will lead to constipation there will be um extreme muscular sluggishness and fatigue and uh, extreme sleeping of the patient he sleeps a lot uh there will be mental sluggishness and depression and in spite of the uh, caloric intake there will be the weight gain dry and scaly skin uh with a frog like husky voice so these are the few uh, clinical symptoms of hypothyroidism so one of the important uh, <laughs> symptom that is the goiter develops in the hypothyroidism that is the what is goiter it is the enlargement of the thyroid gland so this is the normal thyroid gland and this is the enlarged thyroid gland so in uh, hypothyroidism there will be the enlargement of thyroid gland and let's see uh, how the goiter develops in the hypothyroidism uh, that one of the cause of the hypothyroidism is the lack of iodine so when there is lack of iodine uh, no formation of the thyroid hormones and we already know that thyroid hormone they give negative feedback to tsh so it depressed tsh but when there are no thyroid hormones there will be no negative feedback to tsh and more tsh is released and what does the tsh do it stimulate thyroid cells to secrete more thyroglobulin into the follicles so when tsh continues to secrete thyroglobulin the gland it grows larger and larger so there will be the enlargement of the thyroid gland there will be the uh, goiter okay now one of the important uh, clinical symptom of the th hypothyroidism is the atherosclerosis development of atherosclerosis uh, because if uh, the normal um, the normal function of the thyroid hormone that it increases the secretion of cholesterol in bile and thus it increases its excretion but if there is decreased thyroid hormone so there will be decreased secretion of cholesterol in bile resulting in increased blood cholesterol levels which uh, lead to the increased risk of the atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease okay now we will do certain investigations uh, to find out uh, if we have these signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism uh, we will do certain investigation we found um <coughs> we will find a decreased t4 a basal metabolic rate will be decreased and increased tsh and what is the treatment treatment is the daily ingestion of thyroxine throughout the life okay now this is the pic picture of 
uh, makes edema, makes edema is also uh, hypothyroidism. It's a case of hypothyroidism in which there is total lack of thyroid hormone. And uh, as you can see in the picture, there will be the begginess under the eyes and swelling of the face. In this case, there will be the increased interstitial fluid, uh, increased chondroitin sulfate and the hyaluronic acid. And there will be the uh, non-pitting type of edema. Okay, now, another important condition of hypothyroidism is the cretinism. Uh, this is congenital. That is extreme hypothyroidism during fetal life, infancy, or childhood. In all the three stages of life, if there is hypothyroidism, it will refer to as cretinism. And two uh, salient features of cretinism are there will be failure of body growth. As we know, the thyroid hormone is related with the body growth and the mental uh, growth. So, um, uh, there will be the failure of body growth and the mental retardation. These are the two salient features of the cretinism. And what are the causes? Causes, it may be congenital. That is, there is a lack of thyroid gland since from the birth or there may be endemic. Endemic, uh, it's due to the any genetic defect in the gland producing no thyroid hormone or there may be due to the iodine deficiency. Um, so a neonate without a thyroid gland, it can have enough thyroid hormones from the mother while in the uterus. So uh, it doesn't make a difference as far as the baby is in the uterus. But as soon as the baby is delivered, then uh, we see that, the, that his or her movements, they become sluggish. So what is the treatment? Um, treatment is to give iodine or thyroxine, but... Uh, the treatment should be given as the treatment should be started as soon as possible. Uh, it's just a very short time period, uh, a few uh, weeks after birth, the treatment should be started. Otherwise, there will be the permanent mental retardation. And then if we, uh, after a few weeks, if we uh, give the therapy, then it will be of no use because mental uh, retardation has already started and it is due to the defect in the branching and myelination of neuron cells uh, of the CNS. So in cretinism, skeletal growth is more inhibited than the uh, soft tissues. So soft tissues, they become enlarged excessively. As you can see, there will be thick protruded tongue, macroglossia, which is called the soft tissues. They become enlarged and uh, skeletal growth is inhibited. So giving the child an obese, stocky and short appearance. This is the typical this is the obese, stocky, and short appearance. So this is the typical presentation of the retinism. And treatment will be the thyroxine on the iodine within a few weeks after birth. So this is a, now a case scenario. We will see that Shirley Thai is 43-year-old elementary school teacher. At her annual checkup, Shirley complained this weight gain to getting older. Except that uh, also complained that she has very little energy. Okay, she is getting a uh, weight gain, uh, but she thinks that uh, it may be due to the uh, that she is getting older. But she has also very little energy, and uh, it always feels cold when everyone is hot. And she is constipated, has heavy menstrual flow every month. In addition, that Shirley's neck was very full. The physician suspected that Shirley had hypothyroidism and ordered the lab test. So there may uh, the uh, the lab tests show that there are decreased T3 and T4 and TSH is high. So this is a typical presentation of the hypothyroidism clinically, and uh, uh, the clinician has confirmed it by doing the lab test. Um, also, uh, if uh, there are if uh, we can also do uh, the thyroid antibodies, and if the thyroid antibodies are increased, so it may be the case of autoimmune thyroiditis. Um, now, how Shirley sign in symptoms of weight gain and cold intolerance consistent with the diagnosis of hypothyroidism? 
So if we, um, uh, you see, they are the symptoms of weight gain and the cold intolerance. So if you remember the uh, sign and uh, the physiological actions of thyroid hormone, uh, thyroid hormone, uh, it, it controls the basal metabolic rate. So when there is decreased thyroid hormone, there will be decreased BMR. So it, she will be having low energy and um, there will be decreased heat production. So there will be the cold intolerance because decreased BMR and uh, decrease uh, heat production. So there will be the cold intolerance and she has gained weight despite stable caloric intake. And also uh, the Shirley's neck was full. It means that she's having a goiter and I have explained you the mechanism of formation of goiter. So uh, uh, we will give thyroxine and we will adjust the dose of thyroxine. The thyroxine uh, doses should be carefully adjusted because uh, the patient may go to the hyperthyroidism if too much thyroxine is given. So that's all for today. Thank you so much, students.